Hello everybody, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Universal Studios in Hollywood because there's a new food item in Super Nintendo World. It's Bowser's Fireball Challenge and we're up for the challenge. And also in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, there is now vegan butter beer, finally. So we're gonna check that out and just have a fun day at the park, look at a bunch of merch. How about you guys come along with us? On this adventure. So people ask us, how do you get into Super Nintendo World? I will tell you it's easier on the weekdays than it is on the weekends. We're here on a Saturday during spring break, so it's very busy. Every day, Universal has an early access pass. It costs $20 to $30, depending on how busy the day is. And they'll get you into Super Nintendo World an hour early before the park opens. We're not doing that today. What they do do on busy days is when the land hits capacity, they open up a virtual line. So you can open up the Universal app. Once you get onto the property, you don't even have to get into the park. And then you get yourself a virtual queue ticket and they'll get you into the land. If you have an express ticket or a platinum annual pass, they'll also get you into the land after 3 p.m. So that's the three ways of getting into the land. We got here around 9.15 and our virtual queue is not until 11. So it's a busy day. I honestly was not expecting it to be this busy, but I guess it's spring break. I thought maybe since it was raining, like people wouldn't show up, but they're all here. <laughs> When it rains here at Universal, a lot of the characters do not come out, but Marilyn Monroe is out and she's stylish, she has her own umbrella and she's standing underneath an awning and she looks as beautiful as ever. You look so stylish in the rain. Thank you so much. I'm over here like melting and you're just like fabulous over here. <laughs> I have a whole makeup team to help touch me Oh, well you look great. <laughs> Hi honey. Are you standing, standing yes, underneath of this? Course. Yeah, she's smart. <laughs> my umbrella with me too. Yes. Let's take a photo. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Another character that's out in the rain is Donkey. What's up there? Hey, hey, buddy, what's happening? The man was cracking legging. Are you staying dry? Staying dry? Trying to. I don't like that wet dunky fur, you know? Yeah. Dragon always says the smell gets into couch cushions, you know what I mean? But I come home with the wet dunky fur, you know how it is. Have you heard that there's new vegan vegan butter beer? Vegan butter beer? Yeah. The vegan but but that's it, that just sounds like a like like against the natural way of things. Is that <laughs> is that true? Yeah, so you haven't had any? No, I haven't had any, but they don't really like me to get out too much. I'm stuck in this box over here, you know what I mean? It's a crossing franchises and stuff like that. You know how it is. Well you know. It's good seeing you out here in the rain. I know a lot of the I know Shrek doesn't want to come out and I get know, wet. For being a big scary ogre, he's all like, Oh, I don't want to be in the rain. Don't tell him I said that because he'll get really upset at me. But anyway, you know, but messes his hair. Well bye. Bye. I'll see you later, buddy. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Since we're here and we have some time to kill before our Super Nintendo World virtual queue, let's go try some vegan butter beer. Until 2023, there was not a vegan butter beer. The topping actually had some dairy in it, which means if you're lactose intolerant or vegan you couldn't drink it and they would not serve it without the topping because of JK Rowling. I don't know. But anyways now they do have a topping that is dairy free. It's either made out of coconut milk or soy. We've gotten different answers from different people. You can get it in Orlando or you can get it here in Hollywood. In Orlando they have it at the Three Broomsticks and Leaky Cauldron. Here it's at Three Broomsticks and Hogshead Pub. The vegan butter beer is available in cold and frozen you can't get in hot yet and we decided to get ourselves a frozen butter beer normal and a vegan frozen butter beer and i don't know which is which so we're gonna do the taste test and see if i can tell you always forget how good butter beer is until you like take a sip it's so good it's like a butterscotch soda and that cream on top makes this so nice if this was vegan then i don't know because it tastes like butter beer to me I really don't think I can tell the difference between which is, if I was gonna guess, I'd say this one, but they tasted very similar. I was right. On the bottom, they put a vegan sticker. They taste so similar. Why don't they just make all of it vegan? Like, why even use this other foam at all? I really can't tell. So that's a win-win.
Oh, it's like a rainy day here and we're like, frozen butterbeer. <laughs> yeah, you're right, it's really hard to tell. I'm gonna guess, I really don't know. <gasps> this one, maybe? Ah, uh, that's so weird because at the first sip I was like, it's not that one. And then this one I was like, maybe it's not. Yeah, wow, this is awesome. We never usually show up to Universal Studios early enough for breakfast. So I thought, why not try the breakfast in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter? I've heard amazing things. They serve it here at the Three Broomsticks until 11 a.m. And you have your choice between a continental breakfast, a pancake breakfast, an American breakfast, and an English breakfast. And I decided to get the English breakfast. This has fresh scrambled eggs, sausage link, bacon, ham, baked beans, baked potatoes, sauteed mushrooms, and potatoes, served with a butter croissant and black pudding. And it also comes with your choice of juice or coffee, which is nice. So you guys gotta let me know, anyone who is from the UK, is this what a traditional English breakfast is really like? Because I've never had breakfast with mushrooms and beans and blood sausage. That's what this black pudding is. It's actually a pork or beef blood sausage, which I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm gonna try it. And then look at this big thing of ham too. There's a lot going on here. All right, so I feel like I need to get some of this tomato, some of the beans, some of the mushrooms, some of the eggs. Is this how you do it? <laughs> when you mix everything together, it's kind of just like an omelet. So it's not like that strange, but it, I don't know, this big serving of mushrooms is really like weirding me out. <laughs> In America, we just eat like bacon, eggs, and toast, and potatoes. Let's try this blood sausage. Ugh. Ew. <laughs> yeah, the other day I was eating snails, now I'm eating blood sausage. What is going on here? Okay, probably do without that one. It's not bad. It just has like a weird texture. So this is surprisingly good, especially for a theme park breakfast. The eggs were perfectly cooked. I loved the potatoes. I think I could have done without the beans and the black pudding, but I, I really enjoyed the ham and the mushrooms and everything. It all mixed really well together. And I'd probably give it like a four out of five. And now we'd like to thank Upside for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Inflation sucks. Everything's more expensive now. Gas, groceries, restaurants. Our pro tip is you can offset inflated prices with Upside. Upside allows you to get cash back when you shop, eat, or even when you get gas. The Upside app shows you gas stations, restaurants, and grocery stores in your area that give you cash back. Some gas stations in our area offer over 20 cents cash back per gallon. It adds up. When we're not eating badly inside of the theme parks, we're on a pretty strict diet, and that requires us to go to the grocery store more often to pick up fresh ingredients. It's easy. You claim an offer, you scan your receipt, and within days, you have your cash back. You can cash out anytime to your bank account, to PayPal, or even an e-gift card like Amazon and other brands. To get started, download the free Upside app in the App Store or the Google Play Store. Use code ORDINARY to get an extra 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first tank of gas. Upside users are earning over a million dollars cash back every week. Don't miss out. And now, back to our adventure. Since it's raining outside, we decided to take a little pit stop inside of Honey Dukes. And there's some new items that I haven't seen before, like this pumpkin sipper cup. This is themed after the pumpkin juice that they sell in the Wizarding World. But this is like a sipper that you could take home with you. Isn't that cute? I love that. <laughs> and I've learned that these sippers are $15, includes your first fill of pumpkin juice over at Three Broomsticks. And they also have some new chocolate frog merchandise, like this little dish with the chocolate frog on the side. This would be perfect to put like your jewelry in or candy. Oh yeah, is this like a candy dish, do you think? Or you could just buy a chocolate frog and then put it in there. It even says on the side, chocolate frog, just in case you didn't know. Speaking of chocolate frogs, they also came out with this chocolate frog ceramic container put it on the side of my bed and put my headphones in them <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. It's cool that it's like, it's not like the paper version that you get when, when you buy a chocolate frog here. They also came out with this tin, which has a chocolate frog in it and five wizard cards. So the normal chocolate frog that you get, I think comes with one mystery card. This comes with five. And it's like this nice kind of like display tin. I think it would be so fun to one day come here and just try all the different candies in here because they're all like really weird and we've never like really tried them before. So if that's something you think would be fun 
let us know in the comments down below and maybe we'll do that. It is now a little bit after 11 a.m. So we're gonna head down to the lower lot to use our virtual queue into Super Nintendo World. We're so excited because there's a brand new food item at Toadstool Cafe. Remember that time that we rode Jurassic World in the rain? Do you wanna do it again? No? Awesome, thank you. Okay, first things first, we're gonna see if we can get reservations for Toadstool Cafe. Once you get into Super Nintendo World, you're gonna to wanna to go to Toadstool Cafe. They'll have a QR code outside where you can join the wait list. We got in at like 11.30, and the earliest time on the wait list was 9.15 p.m. So that's like 10 hours later and we have plans tonight. So we're gonna have to come back another day and do yeah, this. we're gonna have to come back tomorrow. We're gonna have to get here as, as soon as the park opens and try to get in the land as soon as it opens and then book our booking as soon as it opens and then hopefully we get in by like 5 p.m. tomorrow, right? Same. I know, well it's a very busy, busy day here. So I knew we were gonna have to wait but I didn't know it was gonna be that bad. There's a bunch of new merch since the last time we were here, so we're gonna check it out. There's a new Super Nintendo World sign that you can hang on your wall at home. I like that. You can have your very own Super Nintendo World in your house. Just buy all the plushes here, all the power-up bands, and just run around your house punching things. It'll be just like you're here. <laughs> I wish it was 3D though. It's like... I know, it is a little bit like cheap feeling, but I like the idea of it. This is pretty neat. I really want a sweatshirt. That's the one thing I want. I just want a plain black sweatshirt that says Super Nintendo World. They have them in Japan, so hopefully they bring them here. Over in the corner here, I found some new magnets for Mario Kart Bowser Challenge. I like this one on the bottom. Speaking of magnets, they have this opening day. It actually has the date that the land opened magnet. Yeah, and then, and then this pin. Doesn't say opening day, but it has the same kind of artwork on it. I like this one a lot. I think they've answered Kitra's wishes, because look what I found. Super Nintendo World sweatshirt. It says Universal Studios Hollywood. And they have a big range of sizes from extra small all the way to 3X. I just wanted to let everyone know I tried on this new crew neck sweatshirt. It runs very, very small. Just a heads up if you're planning to get this, I would try it on first. I love the bad guys. I love Bowser. And I'm always saying that they don't have enough Bowser merchandise. Look what I found. It's a little ID holder. You put your like annual pass in there, put your ID in there, and you can clip to your belt. I'd just be doing this all day. Now this isn't new, but they've been sold out for some time. The puppets are back. Look at how cute Toad is. He's like waving to you. And Yoshi's just like bobbing up. Like he just loves the music. Do we need him? What if we like went over to the rafters and we brought Yoshi to oh like my God. the rafter? That would be so cute. Yoshi would probably be like, scared. <laughs> I wanted to be a puppeteer when I was a kid. You're doing great, sweetie. Thank you. It's crazy that Toastal Cafe is completely booked out for the rest of the day. It's not even noon. It's booked out till 10 p.m. It's a good problem for Universal to have that Super Nintendo World is so busy and popular but it's also bad for if you come here. So if you come here, get here early if you want to go to Toastal Cafe because those reservations go out pretty quick. So we were fully prepared to come back early, early tomorrow morning, but luckily an ordinary adventurer had an extra spot in their reservation and let us tag along. But I just wanted to let you guys know, when you get your call back for Toadstool Cafe, you don't get to go directly in. You still have to wait in the line outside and sometimes it can take up to an hour before you are seated with your food. Just wanted to let you know. Might as well get some coins while we we'll wait in line. And I feel like every time we come in here, Toad is saying something different. And today he told a really funny joke. He said, Oh my god, you're gonna be eating so much food in here that you're not gonna have mushroom in your tummy afterwards. <laughs> it was funny. Many hours later. It's finally time. We got into Toastal Cafe and we have the item that we've been waiting for. This is a new item. It's Bowser's Fireball Challenge. It's a one-pound meatball topped with mozzarella cheese served with mushroom marinara sauce 
a Bowser puff pastry, parsley, and hot sauce on the side. And this is $24.99, so it's the same price as the, the short rib special. It's a little expensive, but I've also been told by many team members that it's really a fireball challenge. By the way, look at how cute it comes with like the little Bowser flag. I think the uh, the Mount Beanpole cake comes with the, the Mario flag. So this one comes with the Bowser version of that. I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is a big meatball. Yeah, it's actually way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Let's cut like into the middle just to see. Nicely cooked. It comes with a side of marinara, which I think is the same spicy mushroom marinara that comes, comes with the fire flower spaghetti and meatballs, which is my favorite. So high hopes for this. Is it spicy without that sauce? Because I feel like the challenge is that side of spicy sauce. It is spicy without that sauce. It's the same sauce that is on the fire flour, spaghetti, and meatballs. I'll tell you, this is a challenge in two respects. One, this hot sauce over here. But also, am I going to be able to eat this entire meatball? It's a huge meatball. Well, we're going to share it. OK, let's try some of the puff pastry. Am I supposed to put the marinara on there? Do whatever you want. It's flaky, it's warm, it's buttery, it's awesome. This meatball is juicy, it's perfectly cooked. It's a great meatball. I'm surprised that like getting it that so perfectly cooked at that size. But I think the challenge right now is gonna be this spicy hot sauce. Yeah, that's the challenge. Oh wow. Is that a lot? Yeah. It's like a buffalo sauce. It's really not that oh. Oh no. Oh no, it, the heat is going up. <laughs> now, usually when you come to a theme park and someone says spicy, it's not really spicy. That's why I like the spaghetti and meatballs here. It's actually a little bit of real spice. And this takes it up a couple more notches. I've only had one bite, but my mouth is already like... Okay, let me take the challenge. Okay, you're going to take it. <laughs> Should I put like a huge amount like you? Yes. Wow. You put a lot on there. It's called Bowser's Challenge. <laughs> Am I going to regret this? It takes a little bit. Wait, don't, no, 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 no water yet. It's not too... <laughs> <laughs> it's really not that bad, honestly. I mean, the more you eat it, the, the worse it probably gets. But I actually really enjoy the flavor of the hot sauce. It's almost like kind of vinegary. You know what I mean? Like it tastes like a legit hot sauce. I don't know about you, but I'm going to give it a five out of five. Like even without the hot sauce, like this is a good meatball. I do think you could get this and split it between two people. You get this, you get a dessert, you get yourself a lemon squash, get yourself a water. I think I just discovered something. Is that a Bowser head? Yeah. So once you finish your plate, there's a nice surprise underneath there. I freaking love Super Nintendo World. Like, I hope they just keep, over time, adding more and more fun food here because it really does make you feel like, I don't know, it really immerses you in the Mario world. I'd also give this a five out of five, Peter, so Ordinary Adventure Star. Still spicy. I don't think it's that bad, honestly. Really? No. I'd give it like a... A six out of ten on the spice meter in my Yeah, my for mind. a theme park it's spicy, but in general yeah. it's really not that bad. I do think I still like the fire flower spaghetti and meatballs and the short rib better than this, but it's a solid choice for sure. I feel like we messed up. We should have done that first and then went and got butterbeer after to cool our mouths down. What were we thinking? We're gonna check inside this other Super Nintendo World store because all the stores have different items and there's like five different stores, so if you're looking for something and one store doesn't have it, maybe check the other four. I don't know if all these pins are new, but I know some of them I've never seen before, like this Princess Peach. Oh my God, they have a Chef Toad plush. How awesome is this? It's different than normal Toad. You could tell because he's wearing a chef's hat and like the colors on his mushroom are a little bit different or like it's like reversed. The other Toad is like white with red dots and this is red with white dots. I think this is normal toad and this is chef toad. I never realized that so I thought it was like pretty cool. I was like wait a second it's red with white dots not white with red dots. I think it's like his cousin. 
Now we've seen this line of t-shirts before with the Japanese writing underneath the bad guys, but these are two new shirts I've never seen before. The Squid Guy. His well, name is Blooper. Blooper? I just looked it up. I never knew that. So we have Blooper and then we have a Babam. I like, I want like all of these shirts. That's the problem. Yeah, the thing I like about these, I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but it's like. Yeah, it's like textured. It's almost yeah. like puffy paint on there. We're just walking back up to the upper lot and I noticed that Universal Studios Hollywood is now selling balloons. They never used to do that before, right? Like this now is a this new is thing. New. I just like at Disney, you could get like a cute balloon and here they're like Jurassic World on a balloon. They're like, you want a balloon with dinosaurs on it? Here you go. I like the Universal <laughs> Globe. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see all the different ones that they come out with. Right now it's just Jurassic World and the Globe. About two months ago, they closed down the special effects show and the animal actor show. We were there on the last show of that. And rumor has it they're going to be building a Fast and Furious roller coaster in its place. It's like one of the worst kept secrets in Universal history. <laughs> but we were here, we were disappointed that our favorite store, Production Central, had closed down. Well, it has risen yeah. from the grave. It's back. It's, I think they're going to have it open until they demolish it. <laughs> so that's exciting that it's back open. And it looks like it's like a fire sale. It's like 50% off. Oh, let's go check it out. Look at this. It's a Universal Studios Hollywood Tram Tour shirt. 50% off. So we just spoke with a cast member and he said everything in the store is 50% off except drinks, rain gear, and posters. That leaves a lot of stuff. I'm honestly kind of shocked right now. Yeah, look at this thing behind you. Yeah, it's a little hoodie. Why do you think they're getting rid of all this? I don't know. Who knows? I'm excited though. There's a lot of stuff in here. Like something like this makes sense because it's for the holidays and they're trying to get rid of it. But other stuff, like the spirit jersey, I'm actually surprised that it's 50% off. Also surprised that they have Harry Potter stuff on sale. There's a lot of Harry Potter stuff in here. Look, honey, your Gryffindor sweater. No other one, no other house sweaters, but only Gryffindor. Hmm. Wonder what that says about Gryffindors. It says that we are awesome. We get deals on our Peter's shirts. a Gryffindor, by the way. I'm obviously a Hufflepuff. <laughs> wow, look at this. They even have like the Christmas Village. Like oh the, yeah, the Department 56. These are normally very expensive. 120, so it's what, 60? Yeah. That's a good deal for these little things. Should we start our collection? Look at this, they got a deluminator. Oh, is that the thing that Hagrid has? And he like presses it and it turns oh, on the light? Oh yeah. Wow, I didn't even know they sold this here. Yeah, I didn't know that either. And now they could get it for half off. It says that you could amaze your friends. <laughs> I want to amaze my friends. <laughs> Me too. Lots of holiday stuff here. Wow. I'm honestly shocked right now. Oh my God, Peter, look. You finally get your bucket hat, 50% off. I don't even waiting to get it. I don't think anybody wants that ugly thing. Now's the chance. What are you talking about? What shirt you got? Yeah, this one's pretty awesome. That's the back of it and then the front. You got the three classics. You got E.T., Jaws, and you got the DeLorean. I think it's normally $27, so that means, uh, let me do the math, um, $13.50. Yeah, that checks out. They have a lot of Back to the Future merchandise out. I think that's because this store was mainly like E.T., and Back to the Future, and Jaws. So yeah, this store always had the best stuff, and a lot of it is still here. I am shook right now. Shook to the core. <laughs> I don't need this action figure, but for 50% off. I mean, you don't not need it at that price. <laughs> Universal is probably like, no, we ordered Blue the Raptor, not a Blue Raptor. I know, what is up with that? It's like a knockoff. Just as I predicted, all the Jaws stuff is over here. Wow. Oh, look at this. You can get yourself a shark, shark, a shark hat. hat. You look awesome. I feel awesome. And it makes sense that the Lunar New Year Minion popcorn bucket is also on sale. Yeah, that makes me kind of sad, but it's awesome that if, if you want to get it, you could get it for super cheap. And there's a new Minion popcorn bucket. We got to find that. We do. Wait, first of all, he's a bunny. Did you see that? Yeah. That's a butt check. They have a Frank and Bride actual lounge fly for $41. I feel like that is the deal of the century. So I ended, ended up getting this bag. This and the t-shirt was $40 total. You cannot find a lounge fly for like under $80. They're shockingly cute together. I'm excited, I'm gonna wear this to Halloween Horror Nights this year. 
And just so you know, everything you buy in here, all sales are final. There's no returns, no exchanges. So you, you bought it, you, you buy it, and you can't bring it back. Check out this awesome new Minions popcorn bucket. I love this so much. He's taking a selfie. He's got his little selfie stick and he's like, oh yeah. Total Universal Studios vibes with that selfie it, stick. It's so good. Everything about this is just adorable and I love how small it is. I mean, it doesn't hold that much popcorn, but it's so cute. Yeah, and you got Tim mm. up on top of him and this is Bob. Yeah, and then look at the, the strap. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. Little button on the selfie stick, and when you press it, it makes a little camera noise and the flash comes on. <laughs> Amazing. This generation, I'm telling you. Look at this. It's Max's snack cake. Yeah, it looks like it's almost like a piece of chocolate cake or like a brownie. But look at all these chocolate chips on top. This looks amazing. I like this army of selfie <laughs> minions. This minion selfie army. I want them all. She still would go, by the way. Her lobagos all better. Yeah. I'm very pleased. Yeah. Yeah. She had an eczema flare up. Did she now? Yeah. Did you tell her to put the bacon soda on there? Yeah. See? You give great advice. I had to do it myself. Oh, you put the bacon. Okay. Well, this is why I love my fiance Mario. He takes such good care of his mother. Such a good care of his grandmother, you know, yeah. it's quality. Next up, we're gonna head over to Tower Snacks. They have a food item that I've been wanting to try for some time now. You know I am a connoisseur of Oreos. You know I'm a connoisseur of churros. Well, this is Oreo churro mini bites. And it looks like the white stuff might be stuffed inside. Yeah, the, the white stuff. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Ding dongs. Remember ding dongs? <laughs> yeah, I remember ding dongs. It was like that chocolate kind of cake and it had like a vanilla center. This one's a little bit more crispy on the outside. It doesn't really taste like a churro. I'm not sure if I like this or not. Yeah, it just doesn't taste like Oreos. These are just okay. I feel like they need more white stuff, right? Yes. Look at all the white stuff. Needs more. They're not like terrible, but they're not as good as I wanted them to be. Okay, this is cool. It's a Bowser shell backpack. Yeah, we've been searching for this all day and we finally found it. Yeah, I think it's $100. And it's it like very expensive. It doesn't fit much in there. Like it's really kind of small, but. You gotta try it on. That's actually pretty cool. Is it cool? Yeah, I like it. It's just not very practical. I mean, I would only wear it ever to Super Nintendo World. Well, we go there like once a week, so <laughs> just saying. You make a good point. <laughs> Over at the AMC Theater is in CityWalk. They've transformed the entrances into warp pipes. There's this really cool photo op outside in CityWalk for the new Mario movie. Why didn't the Mario movie come out on Mario Day, March 10th? What the heck? We've run into a ton of you thanking us for our tips and tricks video for Super Nintendo World. Yeah. If you have not seen that, click on it right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons that includes. Nathan, Kelly, Jacob, and Angela, thank you guys so much. And thanks to Pedro for helping us get into Toadstool Cafe. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you, you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.